sorry, I was doing a previous take and I got a phone call from a friend. I'm going to see him in a couple of minutes uh, to catch up, celebrate on his new job. Root beer, ladies and gentlemen. With agave syrup. That's a real deal right there. So, All Black Clothes video, who I'd like to give a big shout out to. Good subject matter to deal with. Dealt with honestly and forthrightly. Just said. Ladies and gentlemen, great, great channel. He asked, is racism a mental illness? I'm going to be a little nuanced in my uh, explanation of this. However, if I didn't reckon the bloke uh, and his followers uh, weren't uh, pretty cluey individuals to begin with, I wouldn't bother. So, what kind of people get into racism? Three kinds. The first kind, I don't mind. The first kind are the kind of blokes who'll say casually, oh yeah, well, you know, the people of that race don't really have a lot of skills for though that particular sort of thing. These people will, one, usually admit they're a little bit racist or that they've got prejudice. I deal with my own prejudice, I might add. Had to encounter some of it tonight when I was thinking about a friend and I just realized I do introduce her in a kind of a bad way. But not because of race. It's because of her own personal things. However, I realized I was being unfair then. And a friend go, you still introduce her like that? And I'm like, yeah, good point. It's a lifelong process. This first group of people are the easiest to change the minds of. And if you can show them someone from their racial group that they don't like, uh, doing exactly the things that they admire, they can be changed. They can come around. <laughs> when you can show them there are things everyone can be equal on, brother, do they love it. And frankly, I was pretty close to being one of them at one point. Not in terms of race, in terms of a few of my prejudices. I got rid of them because I saw, looked at the data. Pretty simple. I'm, it's not perfect, however, that's what I am. And the important thing is, if I want to become better than that, I've got to change myself. Second group. These are the people who will repeat the third group. They're going to get to them in a second. These repeaters are what are called race realists, the kind of people who see half-baked studies and inconclusive science and say, see, that proves it. <laughs> These people don't have a lot of value to their lives and they're looking for something, anything, that can validate uh, the idea that they've got something better about themselves. Now, these vary from the light, low-grade narcissistic sorts who say, see, I am better, because they're looking to make themselves feel better, and the people who've had... Uh, the good appraisals they have of themselves crushed out of them. <clears throat> now, as, as far as the people who go into mental illness territory, these are the people you, I think you were talking about. These guys are ha infinitely harder to turn around. And I'll tell you this much. They will fight tooth and nail to not hear what you've got to say because they're pretty sold on uh, the idea of race being a real thing. It's not even a real scientific term. Yeah, they, didn't even, they don't even like to hear that. However, they're also the most vocal proponents of the third group and these guys scare the crud out of me. A lot of these guys are sociopaths. This third group are the people who uh, use race as a divide and conquer thing. These people care about economic and class warfare because they're trying to build themselves up to be the messiahs, cult leaders, or uh, demagogues of race-related um, politics. And quite frankly, these people scare the crap out of me because if it wasn't race... They'd find, use nationalism, if it wasn't nationalism, uh, they'd use uh, culture war. If it wasn't culture war, they'd use, be gender politicians. They use whatever works to build, to build up the base they need to get whatever they want. These people scare me. So I don't reckon, mental, I don't reckon racism is a mental illness. I reckon it is a symptom of narcissism, inadequacy complexes. Uh, inferiority complexes, superiority complexes, um, and just genuinely lazy and cheap politics. 
and uh, academia, I might add. I have seen no credible peer-reviewed scientific evidence to say that any of the racial studies uh, Hannibal Victor 13 big shout out to him he's gone over this exhaustively uh, to debunk what the uh, as an anthropology student and I think he'd know uh, to debunk what the race realists on YouTube have been saying and let me tell you every one of these studies is confounded by environment culture and telling and basically telling people that they're worthless So I've got to say, race ain't a mental illness. However, propagating the idea of race and the myths around it, <laughs> now that means there's something wrong with you. Keep on making those good videos, man. I'll keep on watching, watching, rating, and subscribing. You have a good one.